Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. We thank God for his love and grace upon our lives. We have been looking at the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 1 to 4. Now we pick our next lesson and the Bible says in verse number 4 that the Lord is the rock, his works are perfect and all his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong upright and just is he. We want to look at this particular character that God is faithful, a faithful God who does no wrong, a faithful God who does no wrong. You know, there are several scriptures that talk about God's faithfulness and in um, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9, Paul tells the church in Corinth that God who has called you into fellowship with his son Jesus Christ, our Lord, is faithful. God who has called you into fellowship with our Lord Jesus Christ is faithful. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24, the Bible says, The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. What an encouragement! The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. And uh, in, uh, in, in the book of uh, 1 Peter 5.10, the Bible says that, And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, he will himself restore you, secure you, and strengthen you, and establish you. He is a faithful God. And where we test and taste the faithfulness of God in our lives is especially when we go through situations and circumstances that uh, tend to squeeze us, to press us, to put us down. And one day in 1 Peter by chapter 5, verse 10, we are reminded that he was called as uh, will himself, one, restore us, secure us, strengthen us, and establish us. When we cling on God's faithfulness, even when our strength seems to run out, we get restored. We get, you know, that confidence that we are not alone, we are safe and secure in him. We get strengthened. And again, even when we feel as See if the wind is blowing from all sides. The Lord who has called us is faithful to establish us. His faithfulness endures forever. Moses talks about God being faithful and he does no wrong. He is in the business of fulfilling his mission, his plan in our lives. And the good thing to know is that He's the one who has called us. He did not call us to leave us or to forsake us. He has called us in fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And he continues to exercise his faithfulness in all what we face. It's an encouragement that, yes, first and foremost, when you know the Lord as your rock, even when things seem not to be really working out, you are confident that he is God and he is not moved by anything. Again, about the, his, his, his works that are perfect and the way we are reminded that he is just in all what he does. This gives us the confidence to know that, yes, as we said yesterday, he is consistent. His consistency is shown as he displays his faithfulness, that I will never leave you nor forsake you. I called you not to fail, but to succeed. And no wonder Paul telling or speaking to the church in Corinth, he reminds them that he who called you into fellowship with his son is faithful. It is an encouragement. And again, I quote First Peter 5.10, the last part. That he will himself restore you. The Lord in his faithfulness, he will restore you. The Lord in his faithfulness, 
he will ensure that you are safe and secure. The Lord, in his faithfulness, will strengthen you, and in his faithfulness, he will establish you. Take refuge in him, call upon the Lord, trust in him. He is a faithful God. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.